Hey there, beautiful people. How are you doing on today? On today's topic, I want to talk about what are you speaking into existence? Are you speaking of things of life, motivation, prosperity, healing, determination, or are you speaking things of destruction, confusion, um, double-mindedness, doubtfulness, and even death? You know, uh, we have to be careful of the words that we use because they hold power and they definitely have weight to them. Um, even through anger, a lot of things come out differently through anger. So we have to be very wise of how we use our words. There are times where we are caught off guard. We are all human. and But we still should exercise you know, within ourself. You can always do your own self evaluation. That's something I always say. Do your own self evaluation. You know, go within to really see what needs to be changed or even to um to work on to even be even better. You know, go within. So I want to write this. It says think twice before you speak life and death from out of your mouth it definitely and truly holds weight and has power to it so be very careful and mindful of the energy that you put out not toward yourself but to others be careful because whatever you put out or say will definitely come back so if you're putting out things of light and prosperity, you know, it's going to come back. You know, are you putting motivational things out? It's going to come back. Mm -hmm. If you put things, if you put the words that you're saying, you want to sow on good ground not an unstable ground you want there to be your words that it not just bring forth life but things continue to grow and multiply from your words but when you speak things of doubtfulness not being sure double-mindedness cloudiness of thinking and you know whether that's so that happens within this crown chakra of the mind, you know, it starts to proceed down to the heart and the rest of the body. So you have to be careful, even though the thoughts of yourself, you might not feel like you're good enough or you, or you don't feel like you're the best version of yourself. It's time to do that self-evaluation within and say, even in spite of what the situation might look, I'm not going to stay here. You know, I do speak life. Even if, you know, I know I might physically just might have $5, but that's not my last $5 because I'm speaking life to my situation. So just remember, just when things seem bleak and dim, you know, a lot of times it's the illusion. How is your attitude toward what you're going through? How is your attitude toward um, the things you see and feel, you know, um, are you still filled with an attitude and a gratitude, a praise? Are you still thankful? You know, do you still have joy even in the midst of what's going on? So a lot of times we have to check our attitude and, and still learn how to have joy in the midst of the storm until you come out. I hope this word was enlightening to you. I hope that you truly learned something and it touched your heart. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're really feeling me, please click that bell so you'll be able to get all my videos as soon as they load. I love you. I hope that you all have a great, great day. And blessings to all. Mwah. Mwah. Peace.